Hello, hi everyone. May I come to today's class? In today's class, we are looking at indivisible, indivisible or independent projects still under a uh, single period capital rationing. A project or projects are said to be indivisible, as the name suggests, you cannot divide the project. It's either you undertake the project wholly in its entirety, 100%, or you do not take uh, the project at all. So, this is a situation where we are either project must be undertaken in its entirety or not at all. So, what are the solution steps when you are being faced with projects which are indivisible or independent projects? They are faced with what to indivisible or independent projects scenario. So the solution steps, the number one is what is for you to calculate the net present value, net present value of all the projects. Take for example, you have 10 projects. You have to do what? Calculate the net present value of all the projects. After calculating the net present value of all the projects, the next thing for you to do is to do what? Combine the projects in such a way that the limited funds are judiciously utilized. The balance is referred to as surplus fund. What are we talking about here? What I'm saying here specifically is that after calculating the MPV of the representative value of all the projects, you now start to do what to combine these projects in such a way that you make use of all of the fund available, the limited fund available. Take for example, let's say we have projects 1 to 10. Project 1, Project 2, Project 3, Project 4, 1 and 1 to 10. You now start to do what? To combine these projects. Project A and Project B, you combine. Look at it. So, if it can, if, if, if it can still accommodate Project D, you combine them. You combine them. You combine Project 3. So, you, but you have to combine the project in such a way that uh, you are going to do what? Judiciously uh, utilize the available fund. You can bring project A and project B together, project C and project D together, project E and project K together. Just combine the project in such a way that you are going to do what? Judiciously uh, utilize the fund available. But mark you, at the end of the day, there will still, there will still, there might still be a particular form which is not what, which is not used, which is not utilized. Out of what? Out of those forms. Because this project is as well that this project is what here is not what is not divisible. At least you cannot take part. So it's either you take all or you do not take anything at all. That's what I'm saying here. It's either you must take in its entirety or not at all. So you cannot divide it. So therefore, there might most cases there will be what a surplus form. At least after uh, utilizing combining the projects, there will still be the fund that there are little fund available. So that one is referred to as surplus form. So the next step is for you what is what three project combination with the highest net with the highest total net present value represent the optimal solution. So project combination with the highest total net present value represent the optimal solution. So out of this combination you have done here, so the one that now gives us what the highest uh, total net present value. Now be what to now be the optimal solution. At least that is those are the projects in which you are going to do what and back upon you are going to invest on. So that is what we mean by what indivisible or independent projects. So here let me mention a surplus fund. So in the next video, I shall be looking at what we mean by what by surplus fund and how do we invest in surplus? What should we do to the surplus fund? To the surplus fund? Are we going to invest surplus fund? Or are we going to return it back to the shareholders? So in the next video, we shall be watching out, we shall watch out for what you are going to do to all the surplus fund. At this point, we call it a class here. So please watch out for the next video on surplus fund. Thank you and God bless. Please if you have not subscribed to the YouTube channel, kindly click on the subscribe button, like the video, share the video, invite your friends, student preparing for students. 
If I invite them to this channel, let them click on it and watch the video. In order to do what? To receive what? And click on what? On the notification button. In order for you to do what? To receive uh, subsequent videos. And this is your short for today. Thank you and God bless you.